Hello, everybody, and welcome to Declutter Me, a podcast about organizing and decluttering your life. And hey, Shalina, how's it going? Hi, Shirag, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? Not bad, yeah. Just, uh, just plodding along. Plodding along. Yeah, does that, yeah, it's very British, isn't it? We're yeah, I, I don't think I've heard it. I mean, I, I don't think I've heard it in a little while now. I'm sure I must have said it to you at some point or another. Just plodding along. Yeah. yeah. Is that how 2020 feels now? Yeah. Like you're plodding along. Yeah. yeah. November. November. <sighs> so, um, let's get right into it. What are we talking about today? So, I thought, we haven't talked about anything digital with you for a long time. So <laughs> I like how you said with me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we haven't gone the digital route, have we? No, it's been a while. while. So, let's talk about something that I love and you kind of love, which is music. I like how, th- like, what's, what's, with the, what's with biasing the, the listener, like, from the beginning to be like, well, yeah, he's not really a music person. I'm just going to kind of state that out, right? Well, okay. you know, we, we have come <laughs> to the conclusion before that I am a music snob and you are... Just nonsense. because I'm a practical person does not make me any less of a snob. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a proper music fan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into it. So, so what, what exactly are we going to talk about? So I was going to talk about all the different types of music formats but i thought let's talk digital so uh because a lot of people have music on uh their phones you know we used to have the ipods before but now it's all on the phones and on the computer um and it's about how you organize it and it's one of those fun things that you can do while watching uh tv so as we always do it's the organize and watch netflix i think i should have a thing with netflix about that you know Watch TV, uh, watch Netflix, and organize your. No, life. I think we, I think we called it Netflix and organize actually. Yeah, maybe yeah. we did. Yes, there's a podcast about that number. Yeah. I don't know what, um. But anyway, so I, you know, and a lot of people have a music that they've either downloaded from CDs, downloaded from you know iTunes or shops. You're and not stuff. showing your age at all here. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> um, downloaded from records. The kiddies are now buying records again. Like, I yeah, that's different. I don't feel I think. so vintage. Yeah. No, yeah. I don't feel so retro now. Um, you know, um, so there's all that. So there's all these different formats that people have, um, and different, um, sources of music that they now have on their computer and on their phone. So it's, and it does become a bit of a mess after a while. And if you do have a good collection and there are a lot of music, you want it to be organized. So you don't end up listening to repeats or to music that you don't actually like listening to. So I thought it would be great to talk about that. So yeah, so, I mean, we both have different ways of doing this. So, you know, I'm sure you will jump in and say to me how you organize. So, uh, actually, should we go straight to you first? Yeah, I think I just, I, actually, my, my answer is that I don't organize anymore in the sense that I have kind of let go over the years of that old downloaded collected collection I used to have. Right. And I've just picked up a service now. So which one are you like? What Spotify or? I'm with Apple Music. Yeah. Uh, Apple Music, I mean, right. I, li- I like. I mean, I think they have uh, a good enough collection, obviously, since they were one of those companies that started out. Yes. All of this stuff. Um, I also like the fact that they have a nice family plan, so it's shared. Because I have a family account with uh, my parents yep. and so on, so uh, it kind of is something that we share yep. uh, with the family. And then Apple Music has a very simple subscription to share. Uh, in fact, Apple has come up with a new thing called Apple One now, right. which is like a it's a bundle, basically, of storage and music and other services that they have yeah. all put together. And again, it sh- can be shared with the family. So if you, as long as you have a family account. Uh, so for me, that's uh, also it's also a little bit about convenience. The fact that everything's in one place uh, and I can share it with the family so I don't have to pay separate subscriptions. Yeah. So we're not... Uh, actually, it's more like if I were to pay a subscription, uh, it's unlikely that my sibling would pay one because he's not really as keen on listening right but the fact that we can for a very low price can get one that he can use and that makes him use it as well so it's kind of useful yeah um and i think so and i did try i tried apple music when it started i did try um spotify as well um for me my issue is you know and i would be listening to the playlist and i would keep on having to like press next tune next tune because i'd listen to songs and go i don't actually they choose songs for me based on my taste and then it actually wouldn't be what I was into at that time. And I like having my own playlist. I have a playlist for Scandinavian and Nordic music because I, you know, as people might know on my personal accounts, I'm obsessed with anything from uh, Sweden, Norway, Iceland, Finland, 
uh, Denmark. If I if it wasn't so cold, I would move there. That's I am obsessed with the countries, the music, the food, everything about it. So the music is a big part of my life, and I listen to it so much, especially in the car when I'm driving to like uh, you know other Emirates. Mm. Um, and if you listen to the playlists that are given by these companies, it would just never be good enough for me. Um, and I, you know, and I'm a big Madonna fan as well. So, you know, I, I, Madonna wasn't on them for a while on all these things. So, um, so I had the music. So I was like, why would I need these um, subscription services when I already have all the music and I can organize it? So it depends on what you are as a person and what kind of level of, I don't know, snobbery you're at <laughs> um, or convenience you're at. Yeah. So if you are just a normal listener, you're happy to listen to things, especially like, you know, if you're one of those that just listen to the radio, don't mind what the songs are, don't care that it's repeat every hour on the radio kind of that's thing. That's not what I'm saying, by yeah. the way. <laughs> like, that's not what I'm saying. I, no, so I'll, let, me, let me explain that a bit further. Okay. Like, obviously, so there was a time when we all downloaded our stuff um, and, and we made sure that, uh, you know, we, we try to collect our stuff and all, you know, that this is, this is how we listen to music for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, and in fact, uh, I don't know if many people will remember, but we, Apple came out with a thing called iTunes Match at one point, which was you yes. paid $25 a year, and it basically uploaded all the music you own into the cloud, and then if they had the exact track, they would replace it with the licensed version, so yes. to speak. Uh, but if they didn't, at least you allowed your music to be available everywhere. And I still have some of my stuff. I've, I'm no longer subscribed to the service, and they've just, you know, it's, it's now all part of Apple Music. But I have it. Still. Yeah, you can still you yeah. can still pay for it, but uh, but uh, I'm I'm no longer downloading and 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 putting in new music anymore. So so I've kind of just stopped. Yeah. Um, and moved to it. So so this is not that I d I didn't used to do that and I did that a lot, right? Because uh, these libraries were not as um, complete as they used to yeah. be before. So that there was part that. of the problem. Um, and then the other part of the problem was just you had we had just sat in on these collections for so long. Uh, rip CDs and you know that kind yeah. of stuff that we used to do, and so it was a way of kind of making sure that uh, I had everything that I owned at some point to be made available. Uh, I th I feel now that the situation has changed quite a lot. So one, these music libraries have become very very thorough. Yeah. I mean, I'm getting music like 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 Indian music from the 70s is available in Apple Music, yeah. right? Like not that I listen to that that much, but the fact that that we've gone it that was better music then. And yeah, I'm not denying that, but I mean like. We have reached that level where we're so on. Uh, a lot of these, uh, you know, there was a there was a time when you had all of these different music subscriptions, and now it kind of consolidated as well. So even the artists are pretty much now available on everything. Yeah. Every now and then somebody tries something exclusive, but eventually they kind of yeah. There was what Tidal was. Yeah, one Tidal. Of them. But again, you know, those are services that are not uh, haven't lasted as much. Yeah. Um, and so now you're at a point where I think all the music you would want to listen to, however eclectic or 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 specific your tastes are, they're available. Yeah. This is one. And then the second part of it for me is also like the, the fact that digital, like I had to maintain all those digital files and moving from computer to computer and I had to make sure that I transferred them and so on. iTunes Match helped, but it was still something I had to just carry with me. Today, I, I've, I've reached that point in my life now where obviously I work out of an iPad, which means I don't really spend a lot of time doing that. But also, uh, I've just reached that, that stage where now I can literally pick up an iPad if I had to log into it and yep. start. I don't have to transfer anything anymore. I don't have to do anything anymore. I so know. so this is, my point is like, that's that's what I was moving to. Yes. And so a uh, subscription service, I mean, I know a lot of people that use Spotify, for example, and they, they like the Spotify recommendation stuff a lot more yes. than this, for example, Apple. But for me, what I found with Apple is that after a while, it takes some time. Like I have to keep telling you, no, I don't like this and I like this and I don't yeah. like this. And you have to do that process with the with the app. Yeah, see, but this is But eventually, you get to a point where actually it's it's decent, right? Like okay. it, it does what I need it to do. Um, I don't, I mean, I do discover some music from time to time because I, I, I listen to the charts and stuff to yeah. hear what's going on. Um, and Apple Music has actually just launched a, like an MTV style, <laughs> like a video service. Oh, really? For, okay. For, for just for music uh, videos and stuff. Uh, but uh, so I think they're doing what they have to do to help people discover music. But for me, that w even though I want, uh, you know, for most of the things I want to listen to, it's a very clutter-free way of, yeah, you know, and I, more than clutter-free, it's like I just don't have to maintain those digital files anymore, and so I've just kind of let that go. Yeah, and I think yeah, and it is a good way to do it. And I think maybe I need to have the patience to listen and keep on going. No, 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 and I just but. You know, when you're driving and you want to just so listen. You can create your own playlist with the you music you own, though, right? Like, or, or not even the music you own, but the music you like. Yeah, so, so it's not, again, patience, but. It's patience, and yeah. that's the thing with these things. And that's why I, and I suppose with me, I've had, 
iTunes since the beginning and yep. it's taken many, many years to get to this point that it's fine-tuned for me with my playlists and my music. I, even now, although I download music and get, you know, albums and then, I, like, um, I know people might, like, comment on this, but I downloaded this Taylor Swift album and I really didn't like it, the new one. So I've just deleted <gasps> it yesterday from my thing because it was I really didn't like it. And like people loved it this year. Yeah. But I was just like, no, I really don't like it. It's it, you have to be in the mood. I'm not in the mood. Yeah. Uh whereas I love things like Run the Jewels. Love lo Run the Jewels. Love their rapping. Um so I've been listening to that a lot really loud. So it just depends on what you do. So if you know um but have a look at your music if you're not using a streaming service and you do have your digital files have a look at it every so often, you know, take your laptop, take your computer, you know, watch TV while you're doing it because it is one of those kind of monotonous kind of jobs. Um, but it's a good way to remove the digital files because it can become cluttered. So create a folder for your music. And then, you know, uh, with um, iTunes, they automatically created folders for the artists. So everything's yeah. automatically populated, which saves time. But do do the, the duplicate check you can do on iTunes or you can get a duplicate app to remove the songs that you have, uh, duplicates, you know, that you might have. Um, because that's a problem, um, uh, uh, which I find as well, that, you know, I've got, I I've, I've haven't realised I've got double albums sometimes, you know, and I've got uh, copies, you know, the same copies of songs. Um, and also choose what format works best for you. So, you know, if you're, uh, you know, some people like the looseless ones, like FLAC, yeah. So that you can then play on different formats, but some don't work on, say, iTunes and stuff. So you need to have MP3s um, or CD formats on there. Um, and, you know, do spend like, you know, do a mini declutter. So it gets too much. So maybe choose one folder of one artist, go through all of that, remove the songs that you don't like, that you don't, li you know, you've got duplicates of. Then do the next one, then the next one, the next one. And then you get to have uh, a fine you know, you fine tune your your folder of music so that you have what you love and you like listening to and what your family might listen to. Um, and for some, it might be now like, it might sound like a taxing thing to do. Uh, and if I, it, I'm one of those people, yeah. Yeah, and if it is, then, you know, definitely go onto the subscription service and use that and, you know, just pay the money for that and then you get people, you know, you might find, hear music that you hadn't heard, which does happen sometimes even with me, oh, like when I'm, yeah. well, you know, I'm with friends or I was using Angami for a while and I was listening to Latin music or Latino music um, and they were coming up with songs that I hadn't heard before and it was great. I was loving it. So, you know, you do have that, that you get to hear new music when you have these subscription services, but it just depends on if you've got patience, which I, I don't have when I just want to be singing along to songs in the car, you know, I don't. Yeah, so, I mean, for the for those listeners that don't know, Sangami a, is a locally based, I mean, kind of out of the Middle East region streaming app. Yeah. Right? And so they do a lot of uh, work. You, uh, you mentioned Latino music, but they do a lot of work with local artists and stuff. So there's a lot of stuff on, on Angami, for example, if you're looking for that, especially if you live in the Middle East, uh, that you won't find in other players because, again, that's it's stuff that they work to cultivate yes, uh, yeah, as, yeah. as almost like a record label. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, going back to your point, I mean, that's exactly why I kind of made that shift. I mean, I don't want to maintain... I, I Today, I no longer use an external hard drive for anything. Like, everything is kind of yeah. just managed for me. Um, I still, by the way, I mean, uh, the music that I used to upload via iTunes Match, I still have it available on my phone. It's all in my music library. I haven't lost any of my music right. as such, right? But I don't do it anymore. Like, I don't download music anymore. Yeah. So, which means I don't need to maintain all of these different complex systems. To me, they're complex now. Um, I still, like I said, I use the chart sometimes to discover, and every time I discover something and I like it, there's, I mean, Apple Music makes it super easy. So, the Spotify, we can just quickly say, dump it in my library. Right. And so, I want to listen to it later, and then I can go and add it to an existing playlist and stuff and that's uh, but i find like in most cases for me i find my music tastes kind of keep moving right. so for example there'll be a little while something new has come out i'm enjoying it i'll keep listening i want to listen to it more often yeah and then you know a couple months down the line something new will come out and then i'm kind of done with the old stuff you know and uh, done with the stuff that yeah. i was listening to uh, like two months ago in terms of all the new music that's yeah. coming out so I have a recent music playlist which dumps everything that I listened to recently and that just keeps alternating automatically. I don't even have to like work on oh it anymore, that's right? So it's, it's just very convenient. So so I might have to, I mean, I might have to try it again. And I do like trying these apps and testing them out. Um, but yeah, let's see. I'll try it out. But let, it'll be good to hear what the listeners do and how they Absolutely, listen to yeah. their music and organize it. 
um and yeah and then we can talk about next time about what to do with you know your cds your vinyl even your cassettes because people still got that as well no yeah. cassette player but they've got the cassettes um and you know we can talk about the physical aspects but i you know i wanted to talk about the, the digital because it is so much it's more prevalent in our lives now isn't it i mean okay. everybody listens to music somehow on their phones or on their computers so um, and it's always interesting to find what other people are doing. So it's great to hear what you're doing and on Apple. Um, and I, you know, I am an Apple queen as well. So I will. I, I think I'll have to try out the the test the service again. It might not be as good as my Scandinavian playlist. But the question is, if you can find that music in the Apple Music directory, then you're sorted. Yeah, but I have to find it and then put it into a playlist. I know, I know what you mean though. But if you have iTunes Math still, then you can always upload the version that you have into the cloud and then listen to it. Yeah, so that's what I have. Yeah, yeah. So you can still do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So, yeah. So that's our tips for today. Well, not tips, more 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 approaches. I think. Yeah, Yeah. more our approaches. Um, Yeah, as as Shalina mentioned, I mean, we're curious to hear the kind of maybe maybe you can tell us some of the problems you're having, whether if you're using a service or not using a service, and then maybe look at the other option and see maybe that might be something that might work for you. Um, I know iTunes Match is still around, so if you're someone that has a lot of downloaded music and you kind of want an easy way to get it all up and, and saved for you so that you can listen easily, that's an option. Um, and yeah. they do the artwork as well, which is great yeah. when they, they do it right. They link it, yeah, they link it to uh, their directory or their catalog. Yeah, yeah. So if, they're, if they have the details, if they have the song, then they can find the artwork and give you all the details. For yeah, that. I love that's that. That's a useful service. Um, so yeah, so yeah, we'd love to hear from you about how you're managing your music, and of course, if you want to talk to Shalina about your digital clutter or any clutter in general, uh, you can do that by contacting her at Declutter Me on all the social media platforms, as well as the contact form at declutterme.com, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>